Welcome to Frontline News from the University of Maryland School of Medicine News Center. I'm Larry Roberts. Coming up, the winner of the Baltimore Marathon is one of our own. But first, the Center for Vaccine Development plays a key role as the FDA approves booster shots for the Moderna and J&J &J vaccines and authorizes the mixing and matching of vaccines. The decision came after Dr. Kirsten Like briefed the FDA on the preliminary findings of the CBD's mix and match study. We essentially looked at it in nine different groups, every which way, and reported on the day 29, essentially one month data following the boost in 458 people. The study found that all booster combinations will increase antibodies to a high level, protecting you from COVID breakthrough infections and severe disease. A Moderna to a Pfizer boost gives you about a tenfold boost. A Moderna to a Moderna boost gives you about an elevenfold boost. Not very different. The biggest difference people have been calling out is that if you go from a Johnson & Johnson foundational vaccine to a Johnson & Johnson boost, you only get about a fourfold bump in your antibody responses. You get as high as a 76-fold bump if you boost with Moderna. Dr. Deming says people shouldn't worry so much about which booster they get. The most important thing is if you want to boost, and your pharmacy only stocks one vaccine, get that one vaccine. It doesn't really matter which one it is. And that's really reassuring for Americans who don't know what their pharmacy is stocking and what they can get. Because a booster should boost their immune responses enough to reduce the chance of transmitting to family members as they go home to the holidays. But more important than the booster is getting that first vaccine. The people in our ICU right now are unvaccinated. It is that first vaccine that keeps people out of the hospital and keeps them from dying. Boosters are great for reducing transmission, particularly to those for whom their vaccine might not have worked as well because they're immunocompromised. So if you want to protect those around you, you get a boost. If you want to protect yourself from going into the hospital and dying, you get that first vaccine. Jeremy Ardenoy is a rising star in the laboratory investigating infectious disease but he's also a star distance runner who competes in marathons around the country. And last week, he won the Baltimore Marathon. And he is now within sight of the finish line. All eyes are on Jeremy Ardenoy, who is closing. It all started while he was working on his PhD in the lab of Dr. Nicholas Carbonetti. The microbiology program was putting together a relay for the marathon, so that's sort of what got me back into running. I just did that. and remembered how fun it was to, to run and compete. And then since then, I've been running a bit more and more every year and training for marathons and really have gotten hooked. Ardenoy is also hooked on science. With Dr. Carbonetti, he studied whooping cough to identify signaling pathways for extreme symptoms that could be targeted with therapeutics. In his free time, he became a top distance runner, competing in about 10 races a year. He's a star scientist too, you know, when he was in my lab working on his PhD, it was remarkable how efficient and productive he was and organized during the day so that he could have time in the mornings and evenings to dedicate to the miles he had to put in to train as an elite marathon runner. As a postdoctoral fellow, Dr. Ardenoy joined the lab of Dr. Matt Freeman to study COVID-19. Jeremy's been working in the lab now for several months, and it's really remarkable to me that you can do science and have all of the running capabilities that he can. He is seconds away from crushing the time. Watching the race was just really fun for the whole lab. We're all emailing and texting each other. Um, really excited to watch him go and start from first place in the beginning and then really take it all the way through. With the win under his belt, Dr. Ardenoy is making some long range plans for his future in science and in running. At the moment, I just wanna keep working on an interesting topic and contribute to, you know, generally science and, and hopefully some important discoveries that can help people. I mean, that's, that's always been the main goal is to work on things that are gonna benefit humans in the future. With running sort of the more immediate a uh, goal will be to qualify for the Olympic trials of 2024. So that's, they'll probably open up the qualifying window sometime next year. And that's Frontline News. I'm Larry Roberts. I hope you'll join us again in two weeks.